Welcome back to The Hungry Hunter and our first ever book review. Before we get started, do me a favor, go ahead and click on the like and the subscribe button below. It doesn't cost you anything, but it'll help me out a lot. So as I grew up, I really identified with Willie Nelson's song, My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys. I grew up a dreaming of being a cowboy and loving the cowboy ways. Well, last year, my wife got me a great book, The Encyclopedia of Cowboys. No, that wasn't it. She got me a book on cowboy poetry and... No, that wasn't it either. It was a book on cowboy stories? No, that's not quite right. Wait, it was a book on cowboy recipes and cooking and using cast iron and... Well, actually, it was all of these uh, things that she... And this one book that she got me. So she got me this book, A Taste of Cowboy, Ranch Recipes and Tales from the Trail by Kent Rollins with Shannon Rollins as well. Today we're going to be making one of those recipes, I'm going to see how it comes out and I've never made this recipe before, but it looks really good. Come on, let's get cooking. So I got hooked on Kent Rollins' channel several years ago when I was looking up for some recipes to do with uh, cast iron and cast iron cooking and how to take care of it. I was actually looking for a video on how to restore cast iron when I came across his channel. After a while, my wife figured out what to get me for Christmas was his book. Today we're making bite-sized BJTs from his Prime the Pump chapter, the appetizer section of his book. Okay, so for tonight's recipe, we're going to be using some French bread, tomato, our friend the jalapeno, and some uh, thick cut pepper bacon. First thing we're going to do is we are going to heat up the oven to 425. Before we turn on the oven, we're going to check make sure there's nothing in there. Nope, it's empty, good. At times I turned it on and then it's nothing. So 425. And with that pretty heat, we're gonna cut up some uh, bacon, throw it into our cast iron skillet here, get that heated up. We'll cut up uh, our tomatoes, our uh, jalapeno, and our French bread, and put it all together, and then we're gonna try it out. We'll go ahead and get our cast iron skillet heated up. As soon as it's heated up, we're going to throw in uh, some of the thick sliced bacon. Okay. As you can see, that's some thick slices there. Two slices there, so. There we go, get that pulled apart there. We're using four slices. There we go. Okay, now we've got another cutting board. Let's set this one aside. Over here. Just back in the fridge. Take our tomato, wash it. I 
So we've got our bread slices here. So we want to fill up that area. And I'm just going to cut off the very uh, end here. And so I'm going to slices here. Slices out of that. Set that there. And we'll take care of our jalapeno here. Get rid of those seeds. Just gonna make some small. Just gonna make some small cuts here. Those over here. Now, bring our bacon back. Our pan should be nice and hot. Start laying it in here. And while that's cooking, we are going to go ahead we've got a butter knife, we've got softened butter here, and we're gonna butter up the bread here real quick. Now this is where it all comes together. We're going to take, just to put on a slice of tomato on each. Right. There you go, there. And look at that, fits perfect. Slice of bacon on each. Some of this was cooked pretty well. That way it'll stay on better. that to it and then a slice of cheese we're using mozzarella Don't forget, put the jalapeno spears on. Wow. 
while the food is cooking, I want to discuss the book a bit further. I love the stories from the trail that Kent and Shannon share in the book, as well as the cowboy history that's in it uh, that Kent shares throughout it also. So a couple of my favorite stories are 12 days down the trail and when is there a day off? And you've got to find out about Jake the Astronaut in that one there. I also love how the chapters are laid out throughout the book. So jingling the horses are breakfast recipes, washing off the dust is lunch, priming the pump are appetizers, put on your shut up dogs is supper, and let out the cinches is dessert. Our recipe for today is from priming the pump. So now this looks really tasty. Looks like the jalapeno is going to add a nice little bite on top of it and I bet that it pairs well with the good red wine. Now if you want a really good appetizer, give this a go. And if you want a bunch of really good recipes, give the book a go as well. It doesn't focus on wild game cooking, but the principles are the same. So the book is chalk with some really good stuff. Not only is it entertaining, but it's also educational and has some great how-tos throughout the entire book. So if you're interested in this book, or you know somebody who's interested in the cowboy lifestyle, I'm going to have a link to the book below in the description. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel below. It doesn't cost you anything, but it'll help me out a lot. And remember, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Until next time, I'm Hodge the Hungry Hunter. We'll see ya. I'll try this one right here. Cheese. Bacon, jalapeno. Oh, that's delicious. This is really good. You want to come try some? No, really, come on. Come on. This is excellent. What do you think? Very good. That was excellent. Mm -hmm. Kit and Shannon Rollins, thank you. I appreciate it. This is going to go really well with a cabinet. May I have two? Mm-hmm. Good. Yes, you may. These two don't have jalapeno on those ones do have jalapeno on them. So you may pick one. Bacon, tomato, cheese, mm -hmm. and bread. Do you like it? Reminds me of a piece of pizza. Oh, Kent and Shannon, thank you for the recipe. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you. Bye. You don't get it.